So a year back, I moved countries amidst a pandemic and started living alone. In today's video, I'm going to tell you the lessons that I learned from this experience in this whole year. And I just hope that you find this fun. Hi, I'm Jagoshini and if you're new here, I study at the University of Oxford. And now the first thing that I want to say is that living alone is not something that I had planned or that I had fiercely wanted to do. It's just something that happened to me and something that I needed to embrace. Now there are certain ideas that are associated with living alone such as it can get lonely, uh, it can get hard and let me just tell you that all of them are true. But through that experience, I also learned a lot of things. And the first thing that I learned, rather realized, was that time is a luxury and it is one resource that I'm not ready to trade anymore for something that does not make me fiercely happy. So I do not go to parties to socialize. I do not go to gatherings just to make connections. When I moved here, I was at a point in my life where I needed to just give time to myself and I have been the kind of person who traded her time to be at any place and every place to be with people because I love to socialize I just love being around people but I started living alone at one point in my life when I when as I said I needed time for myself the most I spent a lot of time by myself and this is not something that I decided on my own but I slowly realized that I was investing my time in um, too many things and in too many tasks mental, that mentally exhausted me at the end of the day when I returned home. I am not ready anymore to invest my time to trade my time for anything that does not make me feel happy when I enter my room at the end of the day and this is something that I I'm very particular about I would rather and I do spend uh, an entire week by myself I, I do not trade my time for anything that just I just have to do because you know it's a social convention and, and I'm very grateful that I realized this about myself and I do feel that this is not something that I would have ever realized if I did not live alone the second thing and on a more lighter note is that I realized Waking up early becomes so much more easier if you just buy a physical alarm clock and keep it at the furthest corner of your room. So what I used to do was I used to put my alarm in my phone and keep it in my bedside table. I did used to get up but I used to scroll through my phone and I used to sometimes you know snooze the alarm button and all of that. But you know there were days when I needed to wake up early. I have never been an early riser and buying a physical clock and keeping it at the corner of the room when I just had no other option than getting up and shutting that clock uh, down was the only option and it solved a lot of li life's problems really. Next thing that I learned was that sometimes when you need to heal you will find the medicine in the pages of a book and in other times you have to really make the effort by yourself when you do not have anyone around you in you know physically in your close proximity you have to make the choice to go and seek uh, professional help and that's the best choice that you can do for yourself which brings me to my next point um, i realized how important it is to take care of your physical health and what a, what a massive impact it has on your mental well-being i I'm a trained classical dancer, uh, which I stopped uh, for over three years now. I was not invested in doing uh, physical exercises of any sort, and I'm not uh, now as well. Plus, I had a very unhealthy diet. So if you had seen my How I Save Money as a student uh, video, uh, which I'll link in the description box down below, you will see uh, that there had talked about making your own food which I did not live up to, which I could not live up to rather, you know, things happen, life happens. I found myself eating out for every meal apart from breakfast. And in this year, but living alone, I felt really, really sick um, in the past few months. And it went up to a point where I woke up one day and my body just refused to get up. Even though I wanted to, you know, I was already mentally, but my body just gave up. It couldn't 
literally it was so exhausted i couldn't get up from bed all day which was really a wake-up call for me and i decided that you know i have to do something about this it can't go on so if you have seen my recent video about what i eat in a day you would see that now i eat only one meal outside and maybe you know sneak in that um evening um chocolate cake i am a firm believer in eating things that make me happy but i also decided that i'm going to make healthier choices and make it slowly so that it's sustainable so i have started not eating anything that comes uh, packaged in a box um, and it i can see a huge improvement in my health and trust me um we often do not pay enough attention to it but physical well-being is extremely important and i had neglected it uh, most of my life especially more so when i started living alone my living alone experience actually taught me to be responsible for my own health and i i, I do honestly feel that that is the biggest biggest uh, lesson that it would have taught me and the final lesson that i'm going to share with you about uh, what living alone for a year taught me was that there are going to be days that are going to be incredibly hard and trust me if you are lucky you will have less hard days and if you are not so lucky you will have more hard days uh, than you know easier days and there will be days when you would just want to turn to the other side of the bed and sleep and it took me a lot of time to realize this um, it took me months but it, I realized that it is very important that on those days what you do is you actually turn to the other side of the bed and sleep so that you can get on your feet maybe a couple of days later and get going all right so this is just something that i wanted to share with you if you are a returning subscriber you know you know i have been sharing small snippets from uh, my life um, after i started living alone ever since i moved it just feels so surreal where I did the entire year ago i can literally uh, see close my eyes and see that day when I was quarantining uh, first time here at Oxford making instant noodles in tea kettle and um, time just flew by. This was such an important year for me and I hope that you, you enjoyed watching this video as well. Do subscribe, um, hit the like button, it helps us grow and I'll see you very soon. Bye.